What's going on YouTube? 0088 here and I watched the Xbox Live presentation. It was an Xbox Series X and all the new games coming out and I wasn't impressed. I didn't even react to it. I didn't stream it because I didn't even realise it was on until it was like too late. I was like, eh. But when I watched it, I did notice one thing that intrigued me and that was State of Decay 3. Yeah, I'm going to react to the... Obviously, I've already seen the trailer, but I'm going to react to it now and then talk about it in a minute. Uh, just the things I'd like to see. I, I enjoy State of Decay 1. I enjoy State of Decay 2. If you haven't seen my uh, top uh, five upcoming games um, reaction video, I explain that I enjoy permadeath mechanic in State of Decay. I love the Walking Dead feel of it. I love the freedom of it. There's not much of a story in State of Decay 2, but you kind of create your own story. And wow, just talking about it makes me want to play it. I haven't played it in a while. Uh, but yeah, State of the K3, man. That's exciting. That's the only thing on Xbox I'm excited about, and I'll probably get it on PC because <laughs> I can. <laughs> That's how I play State of the K2 and 1. Um, yeah, man. Anyway, let's just react to the trailer and I'll get into what I think. This is going to be one of the generic characters you can be. See, they got animals in it now. They won't show this. This, this, I don't know what that is. I guess that's a new, that's got to be a new feature. They won't just show that. That just seems weird. I love how they're showing the crossbow. They've just recently put the crossbow in number two. That's, they got the best DLCs instead. Okay, I must say, man. They got the, like, they got crossbow in there. Now, you can be Daryl Dixon if you want. Pick up, sit. Man, I need to play it, man. I haven't played it in a while. <laughs> I wonder why she's on her own. She's out on a. She's out on a reconnaissance mission or something. Damn. Was that zombie wolf got taken out by zombie? Uh, help. When I saw that, I was like, what? Stay in the K3? Stay in the K3? Nah, fam. I was like, stay in the K3? Really? No way. I was hyped for this, man. I was like, stay in the K3? But yeah, anyway, guys. So, what do I think about stay in the K3? Well, I think... That these are the features that this game needs for me to buy this, right? For me to cop this. State of Decay 1 and 2 were good starting points. Uh, it wasn't They weren't AAA games because, you know, they were, I don't know, they were just low-budgeted games, so I gave them a lot of benefit of the doubt. But State of Decay 3, I feel like this game needs some serious, you know, features. You know, I feel like this is... Is this AAA? This trailer feels AAA. I know it's, I know it's uh, you know, cinematic trailer. It's not like a... Gameplay. If the gameplay looks like that, woof, woof, but it's not going to look like that. So this feels AAA though. So I'm going to say the features that I'd love. I love the human enemies idea. I want there to be like Negan bad guys and the governor bad guys. If you've watched The Walking Dead, you know what I'm talking about. I need camps of like from like 15 to 50 people where they can come and attack your camp. You know, like if you've played Set Decay 2. You have your camp of about 10 people, maybe five people, and then you get raided by all these zombies and they all come and take your camp. But I want to get raided by humans, you know? You know, like all these zombie films always have the same uh, underlining moral, which is basically the humans are the real enemies, you know? I know a lot of people are tired of that, but State of Decay 3, I thought, State of Decay needs it now. Like, there's human enemies in State of Decay 2, but there's, like, camps of, like, three people. Like, little outposts of, like, three people max. I'm surprised they haven't done an update where they can have, like, four, five, six, seven people. That'll be okay. But they need to get... They need to get... Now, the next gen, they need to get, like, 15 to 50 people uh, in, a, in a single camp that could attack you. Maybe you can, you can even, like, team up with another camp, or you could become enemies of a camp. Neutral. They have that feature already in State of Decay 2, where you can be neutral... Uh, have beef or you can be friends with another camp 
but they need to do it, expand that you know maybe if you go in their area you can get taken out like by enemy camps or you're not you're not supposed to go into even if you're indifferent with uh, another camp if you go in that area they'll take you out because they just don't want no one in that area that's how they roll that's their that's their thing you know you need to have all these different factions and make them quite big make them interesting make the make it to the point where you can create your own story around these factions mm -hmm. and that would be so cool like, make it kind of hard to make your own faction if it were mm -hmm. you know uh, i think they should have a create a character thing now they've made it you can change the clothes of your characters mm -hmm. that was an update instead of the code 2 but they need to make it so you can create a character or change the facial features or hair at least you know um mm -hmm. Well, I've always found it weird in State of K1 and 2 how you're the only person that can drive, or at least people in your camp are the only people that can drive around, especially in State of K2 because there's obviously loads of other camps. It's just weird. Like, they need to make it... Obviously, I don't want it to be like a flipping GTA or Cyberpunk where there's so many different cars driving around, like like a working economy, because obviously it's, the whole point is a zombie apocalypse. So you put, it should be nice if, if you're driving and you just be like, what the fuck? Who's that driving that car over there? And then you follow them and they spin around. They're like, why the hell are you following me? And they get out, they start shooting at you. And like, you know, like, like it, it should be like a scary thing that you see someone else driving. I'm not saying I want it to be all the time, but sometimes you see other people driving. That would be cool. Um, yeah, those are just the, some of the main features I'd like. I've, I've heard it's possibly going to be a massive multiplayer online game and MMO. I don't know how I feel about that. The tethering system from State of the K2 where you can play co-op online was annoying. But jumping straight to MMO seems not the way. Like State of the K always felt like a cool single player game. But and I like the co-op aspect. The most they should do is have maybe like four four players online and no tethering. You can go anywhere you want and you can use your own uh people. I mean in State of the K2, what happens is you take one of your um, community and you go into someone else's game and you kind of help them in their game and you can go back to your game and you maybe your community member will have more stats and that's about it and maybe some items or something which was kind of lame like you want to kind of progress the story together I understand it's hard to do that how to figure that out it's weird uh, I guess you should just save on both your games but then when you join your friends games like you start at different points I don't know it's, it is tough I get it but anyway that's my reaction to State of the K3. And then I'll show that's my thoughts on it. If you liked it, give us a like, subscribe, hit notification bell for notifications, and I'll see you again. Peace. Itself, as it appeared to him, embodied in a female form, Thanos was infatuated with the being and endeavoured to make himself worthy in order to earn her love in return. With an army under his command, he nearly destroyed his former home of Titan, declaring himself its ruler but death still would not come. Thanos had a premonition from death and comes to believe there is too much life in the universe and must bring balance by causing more death. At some point he reiterates this to Loki on his travels. Thanos travels to nowhere using the Space Stone, opens a massive portal where he faces off with the Collector. The Collector knows Thanos is coming and sets up his defences, but Thanos wipes out the entirety of the Collector's army of nowhere's inhabitants. After he tells his Black Order to sit back and watch him work, we see Thanos visibly laughing and enjoying all the death and destruction he is causing. He exclaims that everybody is dying for a noble cause to bring balance to the universe. Thanos then gets to the Collector, and the Collector to notice Thanos has two infinity stones but he is more concerned with the soul stone. The collector claims it is the most powerful of all the infinity stones and is essentially the heart of the universe. The collector says if he has but one dying wish to learn how Thanos acquired the stone as he had been searching for it forever to no avail and Thanos obliged.